guys, I'm back down 16 PS3, and welcome back to episode number 10 of my Gran Turismo 6 Let's Play series. In this episode, I will be going back to the National B tier, and taking part in the City Trials uh, event. It's got, looks like three tracks in it, uh, yep, nine stars. Uh, at the end of last episode I unlocked the coffee challenge. Um, I won't be doing that just yet, I'm going to stick with uh, racing for now because after having two episodes out to do the mission races and Goodwood, I felt like I needed to get back to racing because I was just doing terrible at that. So I'm going to stick with this for now. Uh, also got just two stars left until I unlock the National A license. I won't be doing licenses until I've completed every event in each tier. That includes races and all the special events on the right, like the mission races, the coffee breaks, and one-mate races, and so on. Speaking of one-mate races, we're also two stars away from unlocking that. But in this episode, we're going to do the City Trials event. And we got races round Madrid, uh, Tokyo, I think that's Route 246, yep, it's at the top, and round London Street Circuit. Uh, each event is two laps, so it's nice and short, and see who we can become King of the Streets. I uh, got 500 PP or less entry requirement, but the Mito's still only at 391. Seems pretty low, and just looking at these typical opponents. I think I'm actually going to struggle in this car. Uh, I know I said that I'd keep it. What else have we got? Uh, I can use the Lancer Evo or I could use the Clio. Uh, probably going to stick with the Lancer for this one uh, just because it's got the higher PP and I won't be an absolute sitting duck. Yeah, I know I said I'd use the Mito for all of the National B races, but judging by the way that the PP has jumped in the last couple of events, I think the last event was 500 PP minimum, and the Freshman Cup was 450. So it's jumped 50 PP points for each of the last three events. So. It looks like it might be time to use a different car. So I'm going to stick with the Evo and take it for a spin around the Madrid streets. Right. Obviously the Evo's got full drive and knowing about my driving, which unfortunately I do, there's a good chance that this could end up with a lot of sliding and probably a lot of spinning too. Um, it's just me and my heavy right foot, unfortunately. Uh, so we've got 10.40 in the morning and temperature of 27 degrees. Ooh, that's nice. If only I could be there in real time. Just what you want on a nice Spanish morning near the 30 degree heat. And speaking of which, in a couple of weeks, I'm actually going to Tenerife for 10 days, so there will be a few episodes pre-recorded for that and put on scheduled uploader while I'm away. But then once I get back, Grid 3 will have been released, so I can then start making videos on that when I get back. And I'll probably look to start recording these Gran Turismo races on a week-by-week -week basis, one at a time, rather than five in a row because I miss out on a lot of stuff that goes on in between the episodes that I can't talk about because it's so far in the future that it wouldn't have happened yet. Uh, obviously this car, being a rally car, has got a nice turbo fitted to it, so let's dispatch that guy pretty quickly. The speed will probably be no problem in this. Let's try and lunge, no. let's lunge up here instead. Try and get it just to the inside. 
think I might have bumped into them. I heard the sound through the TV, but I didn't actually feel anything coming through the steering wheel. 4.8 seconds behind third place. It's a two lap race. But half of that gap is probably actually only to the guy in third. Though, all that late braking, I've caught him up quite a bit. I'll try not to spear into the wall while I'm not braking, as it turned out. Try and stick it up his inside. Nope. Not quite. But let's hang around here around the outside instead. That's how you do it. Two second gaps up front, so yeah. Half of that gap was just to get past the and not paying attention. I hit the wall. Really keep my eyes forward instead of backwards. What's backwards is done. It's behind me now. Just keep looking forward. Goals getting that guy out of the way. And going after E. Ayesteros. With an unknown flag. Is that the Latvian flag? I know it's not the Austrian flag because that's horizontal stripes instead of vertical. So if someone could tell me that in the comments below, that would be very much appreciated. I'd also like to give a shout out to Joachim Svensson, who a couple of weeks ago, when I had another inquiry about a flag, he actually informed me that it was the Hong Kong flag, which is the white flag with the white flower in the centre of it. So thank you, Joachim, for that. Try and catch this guy up. Half a second gap now. Good. Break from that bit to show me a red line. And swing up his inside. You can see him start moving slightly over to the left. And me being me, I uh, downshifted without breaking. So not only can I not upshift in time, I downshifted at stupid times too. Just got away without hitting that wall. Let's see if I can miss this one this time. Just about. Now I think I just saw a two second gap to car that I've just passed. Which is again another sign of the AI giving up. And I must say, this car is actually feeling really planted. I must have done something at Goodwood to sort my driving out because it's not giving me too much tail happiness. And if anything, there's a little bit of understeer in it, which is always a problem. Crap. Well done, Spanner. Almost let that guy back in the race by tagging the wall. Not really tagging it, running head first into it. Yeah. That's a 1.7 second win from the Subaru. Uh, would have been more, but obviously going nose first into a wall at the last corner doesn't exactly help. It's all in the wrist. Ooh, picked up a trophy and 9,000 credits. Um, not sure what that trophy's for. Another three stars there. Um, yeah, not sure what that trophy's for. I might go and look online to see what it actually is. Um, and let anyone who hasn't got it yet know. First, let's move over to Tokyo. And once this is finished saving, thank you. I shall take my little Japanese Mitsubishi home. Although I'm not sure it's actually made in Tokyo. I don't know. I don't know where cars are made. Who else are we up against? Ooh, Jaguar E-Type 1961. Absolutely love that car. And I've also got an Audi, a Clio, a oh, Honda S2000. Love that car too. And a VW Scirocco. And 9 o'clock in the morning, a very hot Japanese day. It must be the middle of summer for it to be 25 degrees at 9 in the morning. Almost as hot as Spain was, an hour and 40 minutes ahead of that. But I'm not complaining. Uh, 
and this one actually loaded quicker than I was hoping so I'm not actually able to check what that trophy is still loading up the web page so I'll have to wait until I finish this race let's dispatch the Audi pretty damn quick Clio Side. Nope, I'm going to think better on that one. I've crashed into far too many cars. Um, the grip that this car is giving me at the moment is actually able to let me do that. It's a lot better than the Expo I drove in the last, no, not last episode, a couple of episodes ago. That car was a squirmy worm. Squirmy worm? What the hell am I saying? Well, you know what I mean by that. My heavy right foot is making me hit every wall on this section. Well done, me. Just had a look at the minimap while we're on this straight, and the top three cars are in a nice little cluster. And as now a bit closer, I can see just how close they are. One and a half seconds, and those cars probably actually only make up about two tenths. That one and a half. Ooh, there's the Jag. Love the Jag. But sorry, Mr. Jag, you just lost three spaces in the space of half a turn. Catch up to this Honda. They are very close for now for the lead. This is actually a very long lap. Minute 55 already. Although it's not the longest lap I've ever done, that Silverstone lap with the Nissan GTR was just as long. Well, even longer. Whoops. Might have hit the S2000. Hope I didn't, huh? Very pretty car. 2 minutes 12. It's only 8 seconds shorter than Silverstone is and then Nissan. Charge off this rocker now, try and right on the back bumper. Eight tenths gap. Another fall and braking zone should help me close it. Before I like bounce off up too many curves in the process. Yeah, shocker, 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 shocker. Get it done here. No. Brakes and I've had the wheel turn a little bit, so back with a little bit light on me. Try and fill out the throttle so I don't crash with the wall. I'm actually bored if I lost far too much speed. And didn't feather at that time. Whoops. Idiot. S2000 is still hanging back there. It might only be a couple of seconds behind, but. If I keep tagging these walls, he's right in with a shout. We're going to get seven tenth gap. Just try and get him out of the way. Nearly, nearly the end of the lap. Uh, yeah. No. Whoops. Sorry, Mr. VW. Didn't mean to hit you. Could have been a cleaner overtake, but I'll take what I can get. He's not giving up either, he's still right on my bumper. Although that might be helped with me not changing gears as always. And tag another wall just for just for kicks. This could be a close run to the line, as long as I don't miss a gear change. I should just about have him covered off. Maybe, hopefully. Another little look. Three tenths. That was close. Oh, the E type still only came fourth. Oh, poor little Jag. Exit out of this replay. Don't want to watch it. That's a bit too busy trying to look online. Nice 9,200 credits again. Pushing our way towards 
200,000. And another three stars, which means we definitely get the one make races and the license unlocked. And exit out of this race and move back to, or move on to, London. Let's come back to my neck of the woods. It's all in the risk trophy is to win a race with a PP limit of 550 or more in a car with at least 50 PP lower than the race limit. So I think my Evo's in the lower 400s, mid 400s. What actually is it? it? Is 466. So yeah, nearly 100 lower than I need. But anyway, always like getting them trophies. Nice to collect, even if the two games that I have platinumed are wrestling games and were ridiculously easy. I haven't platinumed anything else, unfortunately. I aim to. I've nearly platinumed a couple of Formula One races, but, uh, Formula One games, but it's just the online stuff I haven't quite got. Child up inside. That was my fault entirely. Far too aggressive, going up the inside of a very tight corner. Hope would have hoped that he'd given me a little bit of room, but uh, never mind. And I really hate that section of the track. Smacked a wall. That's karmic retribution, I suppose, for bumping the other guy out of the way. Yeah, that section of the track just doesn't agree with me, as the mission race has proved when I kept spinning that car. Oh, I was thinking about this. Whoopsie daisy. Didn't realise the Audi was braking that much. Think you need to break that much for that corner? But apparently, you do. But he thought better of it, was coming back at me and backed out. Which is probably a good idea if I was actually driving this car in real life, is just get out of my way. Chase out this guy. Subaru WRX. Dispatch him pretty quickly. Yeah, back out, well done. Great choice. There's this red car to go with now. Looks like another Evo. As we go around Nelson's column for the second time. Very tight section of the track, this bit. Not my most favourite bit, but it's definitely a technical track, a technical section. And this last corner is deceptively tight, provided you don't do what I did and run over the curb. Very tight. And winner. Where are we at in the end? 3.2 seconds over a Lancer Evolution 4. Uh, just an older model of the same car that I've got. Nine thousand six hundred fifty-eight credits, which are one hundred ninety-one thousand, and the last of my three stars for this. And I want to exit out. Three gold trophies and three sets of three stars. And we have unlocked the one make races. Level playing field in which cars are contested, so it's basically all about driver's skill. Uh, what are actually the makes? Uh, Prius and an 86 BRZ. 86 and BRZ, rather. Do I really have to go and drive a Prius around Silverstone? Looks like I even have to buy the Prius. I don't want to buy a Prius. Priuses are just terrible. I hate them. Anyway, in the next video, 
think I'll go and do the coffee break challenges. Let's take another short break and see how far we can go on one litre of fuel and how many cones we can knock over within the time limit. Which sounds deceptively easier than the last coffee break we had, which was knock over 300 cones in 20 seconds or 24 seconds or wherever it was. So yeah, thanks for watching. So right as I was exiting out of the game to turn the PlayStation off, I went back to the home screen and was met with this. It's another invite to do another three events. I put Goodwood Festival of Speed in three different cars. Apparently my speed and skill behind the wheel are the talk of all England. Yeah, that would be the day. Uh, another select, stunning selection of historic cars and well, historic classics and racing cars and they want me to come and take them for a spin. Uh, I'm not going to do that straight away. I'm going to leave that sitting there for a couple of episodes before I go back to it. Um, but it should be done fairly soon, hopefully. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.